In this video, I will show you how to add outer glows using the Layer Effects Studio in Affinity Photo on the iPad. This is the third video in my mini 10 part series where I'm looking at all the effects inside the Layer Effects Studio one by one. Today is all about the outer glow effect, so let's get into it. Okay, as always, we're just gonna bounce into Affinity Photo and we're gonna open up the project that we were working on in the last video. This is what we hope to make at the end, our Sonic the Hedgehog retro logo, but in a new modern twist. That's what we'll have so far. It's, it's, it's looking okay. It's, it's, it's a start. Many projects you work on at the start, it's a wee bit ropey. You're not too sure about it, but as you build up more and more layers, as you build up more and more, uh, more and more depth to the to the picture, to the images, it, it starts to look better and it starts to take shape and you, you can always go back and fix things. So before I do anything, I'm going to bring up Google Chrome and before I started recording this tutorial, I simply typed in Sonic Movie PNG because we want Sonic from the Sonic film, so it's not a cartoon, it's like a, a lifelike Sonic, if that makes sense. A PNG normally means transparent background. It doesn't always mean, but it means it's a file type that can be saved with a transparent background, uh, a clear background, a see-through background. And if I click into this Sonic, I think this one looks quite, quite good. You can see it's a transparent background because this wee grid appears around it, this wee checkered board. So if I press one finger, copy image, go back into Affinity Photo, one finger on Affinity Photo and paste. Yep, that's a transparent background and uh, already he's looking quite good. I'll maybe have a look to see what we're looking at. So he's got one finger up there. He's got a wee finger up there. This Sonic is in the frame quite a bit and this Sonic is still quite small. So I'm simply going to bring him up nice and big doesn't need to be exact, but see how that looks if we get rid of that. So let me just, it clicks in the middle there, it snaps in the middle there, but I just want them off centered and slightly up. And I'm just doing a lot of reference in the previous Bring it down here. Yep, I'm happy with it. Just by adding the character in, it's really starting to take shape. So we'll just go back into layers. What I want to make is these wee stars. I think there's two here that you can't really see, but certainly four stars is what we're going to make here. And hopefully we'll go into the Layer FX Studio and apply an outer glow on them. And maybe in Sonic 2, and maybe in this uh, this background circle too, we'll, we'll see how we get on. So to make a wee star, Affinity Photo makes it very easy. We'll go down to the shape tool here, and our star is there, and it's, it's nearly ready, ready made for us. I might just, again, just reference this. It's a normal enough star. So hide this. And you can see straight away we've got a, a a stroke, black stroke there, which we don't want. And if you remember in the shape layers, we can't actually change the stroke here. We'll have to go into the pen tool and it's set to zero. So, yep, that's us now okay. And I know it's on blue, but I'm just going to use the color picker just to pick kind of middle of the road blue there. And if I zoom in here, start to, oh, click on the shape layer tool, start to draw, hold one finger and it will keep it in proportion. Two fingers will drag it from the center of where I started. Three fingers from the center and keep it in proportion. And I think somewhere like there, that looks quite good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the move tool and just just clicking my star, just to try to make it look fairly central. I'm going to duplicate this star so it's the exact same size. I'm going to go to th these three wee dots, duplicate, and now when I move, it has been 
duplicate it. And that's that's looking pretty good. Let's see how it compares to the the original poster. Yeah, that's not looking too bad. I might I'm just being very picky. If you've got the move tool selected, you can just click on a layer and then move it. Just gonna move it up ever so slightly closer to Sonic's head and move this up ever so slightly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in their layers, click one star, drag the other layer just by moving my, my finger, and that selects both stars. I'm gonna duplicate both these stars and just I'm gonna bring that wee star up just so they're both together. Transform studio. And I'm simply going to use this wee icon just to flip the stars over. And then by dragging over, you'll see these red arrows, or these red lines, sorry, these red lines mean it's staying in line with these. And that's our stars. It's really starting to come on just in these this uh, few minutes of the tutorial. It's nice having this background. I'm not completely happy with the background because if we look back on the other one it's it's dark blue and this is quite light blue but we'll not worry about that at the minute it's actually working out not too bad but this is the video where we're meant to be going into the layer effects studio and looking at outer glow so that's what we want to do with these wee stars so i will click on this star just because it's closer now if it was clever what i really should have did was make the outline or make the glow on one star at the start and then duplicate at that because now I'll have to do the same glow on every star so that's a bit of a mistake but that's okay we'll continue so we've clicked in the layer studio clicked on outer glow as always nothing really happens until we click outer glow and then we've got options down here and by default set the screen mode which is a great mode Radius is zero. As always in Affinity, you can drag your finger left and right or click on a value. If we click 20, we'll see what's happening here. That's a lovely wee glow, just as it is. If we put the intensity up, you can see it, it goes the full 20 pixels around the star. And it nearly acts like a stroke, but I don't want that. We'll go to the different blend modes while we're on this just to see what happens. Some are quite nice, some not. But if we click into it and go to screen, bring the intensity down to 50. And I think that's really, really nice. I'll maybe bring it down to, or maybe look at 75. 75 maybe makes it stand out just a wee bit more again. And, and that's more or less it for the outer glow. We've got the blend modes. We've got the opacity, which we can... Oh, I've just accidentally hit the radius there. Oh, two fingers to undo. The opacity we can bring down to zero or up to 100% or anything in between. We can change the color. We can, this grayscale slider, we can change it to different sliders by pressing these wee arrows. It's quite nice, the color wheel. There's it on red. It's not really coming up on red because it's in the screen mode. If we go to normal, yeah, we'll see it in red mode. It looks quite mad. Change it to blue. Change it to pink. Bring the intensity down. Bring the opacity down. And, and that's okay. You can start playing about with it. But want opacity full. Radius 20. Intensity 75. I think we'll add it up to. We'll put it in white. Blend mode normal is quite nice. But it's just nice having it on screen. I think that's nice. So we'll, again, if it was clever, I would have done this first and then duplicated the stars, but it won't take too long. And it's a good learning exercise to, to go in and change these other few stars. So now I'll just add this wee outer glow onto these three other stars. Unfortunately, there's no way to copy this effect and just paste it on to these other stars. That's one feature that would be really, really nice. A friendly photo, if you're watching this, we would love this feature just to be able to copy different layer styles and put them onto other objects. But in this case, it's not too much of an issue. We'll just click our move tool and we'll hit outer glow, 
click on it and it was screen opacity 100 and radius 20 and intensity 75. So it didn't take too long, but if there was more complicated layer styles, especially gradients, it wouldn't be as quick as that. And copying each would just be so much easier. Two fingers just to drag across. Again, we'll click on the move tool, click on our star. That's not clicking our star, it's clicking on something else, clicking on Sonic. So we'll move down to the star, click on layer effects. Not inner glow, Andrew, but outer glow. Screen, opacity 100, radius 20, intensity 75. And then we'll see by moving the tool. Yep, it's able to pick that one up. We'll just do this final one. It's good practice, if nothing else. And then zoom out by two fingers. And that's really, really nice, that outer glow. I really like this. I know it's not quite faithful to the original. There's a wee hint of something there, and there's a wee hint of something here and on Sonic, but it's not really an outer glow. And just for fun, I'm going to try to see what Sonic would look like with an outer glow. I'm not expecting it to look great, or I'm not expecting it to keep it, but we'll just try it while we're here. So here we go. We'll do 50 for this. And it's not great. <laughs> it's, it, it's okay. If I change the radius to 20, maybe. It just For me, it doesn't look too natural. It doesn't fit too well. I actually preferred the 50th, the radius 50. And I'm actually going to change the colour. I'm going to, the colour's currently white. I'm going to try to make it one of, the, one of Sonic's blue colours by using the wee eye picker tool here and that's not too bad don't know if I completely like it I'll see if I can choose the eye picker again and maybe down here one of these wee lighter colours yeah the lighter colours the lighter colours not too bad actually what's nice about the layer studio we can turn it on turn it off turn it off and turn it on I like what it's doing in some places, like up here, I like this wee, but when it's on the black, it doesn't look as good to me. I do think it adds something. What I just might do is bring the opacity down to 50. And that's that's quite nice. It's very, if I, if I zoom in, it's very subtle. And all this is artistic license. It's just kind of what looks good to you might not look good to me and what looks good to me might not look good to you. But in compositing, I suppose this is a bit of compositing, it just kind of seems to blend things in a wee bit. And I don't mind that, just that wee bit of a glow. Another quick way to get into Layer FX Studio is by just clicking on the FX. So that's without... That's with, and I'm actually going to keep it with, maybe in other videos we'll take it away, but at the minute I'm going to keep it in. Another thing while I'm here is I might just put an outer glow around this circle. I think that might look quite nice. So that's us here. We've already got an outline from the last video. So if we go to outer glow, click on it, we'll bring the radius up. Let me bring the radius up 100. It might be too much. What's that look? Maybe bring the opacity down to 50%. That's too little. The opacity to 75. I quite like that. Again, if you bring the intensity up, it's just going to make it into a bit of a stroke and it's not going to look great. 50% intensity was, was quite nice. Oh, I've took the radius off. And we'll just see how that looks on and off, off and on, off and on. We might change it at a later video, but for the time being, I quite like it. It just separates it separates the circle from the, the background a wee bit. And I said earlier that I didn't like that this was this blue, the original poster. I'll just bring the original poster up just by clicking on it, bringing it to the top. The original poster, or the original design is quite dark blue and I didn't like this light blue, but 
I'm actually starting to like it a wee bit more. It maybe makes the whole logo stand out a bit. And this is really coming on. I'll maybe leave that for today. I think we've done I think we've done great work today actually. We've we've added in stars, we've added in Sonic, we've done the outer we've done the outer glow for the stars, the outer glow for Sonic and the circle, and that's starting to take shape. So there you have it. I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button, if you found any value in this video, please feel free to subscribe as I've got more videos like this coming out very soon. Leave a comment too if you wish as I read and reply to each and every one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.